Hey, is that more sulfur? No, it's just grass. Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of the Planet Crafter. And I tell you, I got the best timing ever. I was just starting to record, I thought it was a storm coming in. Apparently it was uh, one of these kind of storms. Uh, as you can see in the top there, I have been a little busy off camera. I'm trying to stay, stay alive here. I'm actually wondering if I should hide in there for now. I think if I keep moving, I should be okay. But uh, this is like the second one that's happened in like 10 minutes now. Uh, it almost looks like uranium coming down too but I've noticed not only is the, the world turning green but as you can see there's lots of grass growing you don't really see it right now because of this and I don't know what that light is all about that kind of concerns me I have noticed that before I don't know if that's just a bug in the game or whatever but I wanted to get uh, a little more going on today because we're getting close to unlocking a few things I'll bring you back after the storm is over. It helps if I start recording again. I was just said and saying that the storm just ended. Uh, there's like a whole bunch of them just started coming down this one area here. I don't know why I haven't been launching any more rockets other than what you've seen. Uh, but yeah, a whole bunch of land there and I started going quiet and you could hear this one last big one coming in and it just nailed the bio lab for some reason. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, I went and got some algae. What I want to do today is actually want to get a few, th uh, few more things up and running. Uh, we're actually pretty close on a few things here. Uh, I don't think it was the heat. Like, I think we've got a ways to go to get that reactor, but we got the gas extractor coming up soon. Uh, which I don't think I actually need for anything at the moment. Uh, I think that might have been the tree spreader, I can't remember. Uh, and then we got this. Uh, but yeah, we're doing pretty good. There's a sea spreading rocket too, which is actually coming up shortly after the pulsar quartz. We'll see how that goes. I have done a little bit of exploring too. I have like, been watching uh, Dre's videos and, you know, I've been seeing like little nooks and crannies and I did happen to find uh, another cave that I was talking about, that cave where there's uranium and the obsidian. Uh, Obs osmium and I did happen to go over there and I picked up some of them some of it over there and grabbed up some uh, iridium yeah iridium so I got enough to get, get a couple of heaters going that's what I want to do today is I want to get I want to try to get at least two more heaters going I also want to get a couple more at least two more of the tier four drills going and I want to get some more flower spreaders now I need a lot of super alloy and I don't have much I have this much and uh, as far as aluminum goes I could make it, but I know there is another aluminum uh, super alloy stash, and uh, I thought about actually exploring it, but I didn't actually explore it, but uh, now is the time. Uh, let's get rid of this algae, and we'll go check it out. Uh, that's water. Uh, I do have enough. I need to make sure I get, make some fertilizer. As far as the eggplants go, we're good. And I just got another batch growing, too, so... We're good on that front. Uh, I should probably grab some water. Actually, I can grab one outside. Why am I thinking? So yeah, basically, what I go, where I need to go is where the, the dust fall is. I call it dust fall. It's technically a waterfall, but I think uh, let's see here. Yeah, I can get through here. Yeah, I was noticing too. Like the, these grass clumps are like showing up everywhere. I came in the cave. Uh, Back when I was still like 300 MTI, and you know, I actually thought it was obsidian or sulfur. So I went to go check it out, and it just happened to be a, a clump of grass. And I was like, wow, and that's why I started to notice that you could start seeing the grass show up everywhere, like even here. But apparently, there's a cave in here somewhere. I didn't actually think about that, I didn't know if it was actually possible, but apparently, there's a lot of super alloy behind this cloud. So we're gonna go check this out. There it is. Super alloy everywhere. I had no idea. I didn't even think about coming down here. It's actually not that bad. I thought it was going to be like a little more severe than what it is. And now with the extended jetpack and actually the fact that I know where I'm going now. Uh, being out in a place like this and doing stuff like this isn't that big of an issue. So, yeah, it's supposed to be somewhere around here. 
supposed to be a cave. And... Hmm. Almost looks like a cave to me. There it is. There we go. And more osmium. Perfect. Oh, this is nice. And a chest. And... Ooh, bioplastic nuggets. That is cool. Is there anything else in here? I don't think so. Got a little more osmium for the road. And... That is that, so I'll meet you back at the base. Okay, I'm back. Uh, one of the places I did explore too is I went over that way, over there where the, the spike area that is, and I found uh, that one cave there, that, like, I think I mentioned that already, the, the iridium and uh, what was in there? There's some osmium in there too. But I went back to the fall, I cleared out everything that I could find there and even in the cave, so uh, we got a lot of super alloys, so we're actually really good on that. We could actually probably make three or four drills. Uh, a lot of osmium, I actually have a lot of sulfur, so that's good. Uh, hit the wrong button again, and of course I did it again. Alright, so let's go ahead and first get some power going. Let's see how many uh, reactors I can build. Uh, I don't think I can only build one. Uh, yeah, one, but that should be enough for now, I think. Power situations are not terrible. Uh, we have 80 free, do this will be 40. Uh, what, do, what do the drills need? Drills need 45, the heaters need 50, flower spreaders need 40. Hmm. Might have to look for some more uranium. Anyway, uh, what do I need for this? I need explosive powder. Let me get this stuff together and we'll build it. Okay. I should have everything and I should be recording. Good. Uh, I guess we'll go back up on the roof. May as well. You gotta be able to make sure this thing is seen from space, right? Uh, oh, uh, just pass it. And, uh, yeah. It's amazing how fast the world is changing around, around us without even realizing we're doing all this stuff and everything's changing. Gonna have the noisiest base on the planet. It's the only base on the planet. Anyway, uh, now we get some drills. I have enough stuff on me to make three of them, I think. Uh, let's go put them down here all in one spot. The aliens have landed. Uh, let's see here. It's an awkward to place these things sometimes because you can't really see in. And the jetpack doesn't exactly have a hover mode. So there's another one. And let's get another one. There, I can do one more. Yeah, let's do one more. Let's crank it up. Because that's not only generating heat, but it's generating pressure as well. Uh, we'll have to look at the power situation. I might have to build a couple of small reactors. They produce a little bit of power, but uh, it's fine. Uh, and I'm going the wrong way. I want super alloy. Not whatever's down there. Okay, and now once we get a. F God knows how many drills. Wow. Hmm. Okay, I want to put this one right up here if I can manage it. Okay. Don't really know this, but I'm sure that number is climbing it's much faster. Alright, now I want flower spreaders. Now I gotta look at the power on this. A 30, say 39. Let's see what we have available. Starting to go laggy around here, too. Oh, we got plenty. Oh, I wanted to get some heaters going, too. Uh, okay, let me get some stuff ready. Let's actually see how many I can make. I think I can make two of them. Iridium. Oh, I can make, yeah, I can make two. I can make three if I wanted, but I need, need iridium for explosive powder. So let me get this stuff ready and we'll build two more heaters. Okay, all I need now is um, a super alloy. And we just unlocked gas extractor, which I was gonna actually show you in here. Uh, it's something we need for, uh, what is it, the mutagen. 
Yeah, the mutagen, we need the methane cartridge. Uh, we also need the fertilizer tier 2, and I don't actually know what this is for. I think probably going to be for like the, the tree spreader or something, but we'll find out when the time comes. Anyways, let's go get some super alloy. And we'll build a couple more heaters up on the roof. Get it all nice and pretty. Get ready for Christmas because it's all red and green, right? Uh, super ally. Uh, what did I need? I needed three for each. And I also need that for these. Oh, it's a good thing I got aluminum. And that is it. Alright, so uh, back up on the roof we go. Hmm. Okay, what I'll do is put one here, and then I'll put one over here. Try to keep the alternating red and, red and green if I can. Actually, it's orange, what am I saying? I don't know what I'm talking about. I guess it'd be more Halloween, right? Okay, so that is the heat. Oh wow, look at that number just skyrocket. We're halfway to floor level too. Wow. All right. Uh, more flower spreaders. I need more fertilizer. I need more super alloy. I need more water. And that's good because I actually found two more of those golden seeds. So let's get that ready and I'll be right back. Yeah. That's some noise. Anyway, I have everything ready to go. Uh, as you can see, I have enough to make... Uh, make three tier two seed uh, flower spreaders i have two golden seeds and a tusk yeah tusca i'm just gonna go down and grab some water from the water collector down below here and then we'll be able to get a good, a good view of the base while we're up there or down here oh it's over here that's right and oop. it's amazing this thing actually makes noise too all right, uh, let's see where we're going to put the place these things. Well, let's go pretty up the ship over here, just because. I don't know if this is actually having any effect on what I'm seeing here, but as it's not quite there yet. But let's go ahead and we'll place tier two flowers better here. Put a golden seed in, we'll go up here, we'll place another one up here. And put a golden seed in you. And put one right over here. And then you can have the Tatsuka. Right, and I can have a bottle of water. Okay. Now, I also do have a rocket too, so maybe we'll launch another one off into space. Uh, Probably could use some uranium, but I know we're unlocking uh, that that new fu uh, fusion uh, the court stuff there, the pulsar. It's actually gonna happen pretty quick at the rate that this is all going right now. Oh my god, the lag! Actually, it's something to do is another biomass rocket. Let's go see what I needed for that. That was the one that needed the tree bark. I know we get some stuff on, uh, with, with the, the bio lab there with the amount of biomass I get. Uh, biomass rocket, alarma seed, tree bark, fertilizer, two super alloy and rocket engine. Alright, uh, let's go check that out. Give me another rocket, I'm being unlocked soon too. Uh, let me check on that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I was at look, having a look at uh, what's going on right now. Uh, it doesn't look like there's actually going to be anything unlocked for a while. I was looking at the tree spreader here. Realistically, I got up the oxygen production significantly for that to happen. And the only thing I think it would be gent building like a whole bunch of these. Uh, but that might be a while. I don't have the power for that. I have to find my uranium. Uh, this is actually getting unlocked soon. I don't know what it's for. Well, I know what it's for. It's for... Infusion generator, which is going to be a little while before I get that, but it's going to be uh, I'm going to be finding out the recipe for it. I could actually boost up, the, uh, send up a couple of the thermal rockets to boost up the heat for that, and uh, or extract tier two to actually get the proper ores that I need. 
is at 365 that's all ways to go so what i'm thinking we'll do is we'll actually look for something i didn't know we needed uh, here's a gas extractor. Now I need to find a zeolite. Now I have no idea where this is. Uh, so we're going to go exploring while we're waiting for everything to build up. So I got one water. Let me grab a little bit of water, a little bit of food, and we'll go head off. Okay, off we go. So the only place I could think of it really being is like places I haven't been. Yes, it says a lot. Uh, I do know there's a certain areas that we're prevented from being exploring by one area I know I haven't been to very often is this one over here and this is the spike area uh, base was down oh, we landed right here and there is this sort of dusty hill that went up over here and uh, yeah and it's still kind of dusty but I know it's green and we're getting grass over here now this used to be all sand and dirt and all that stuff but yeah it's Something's got to be around here. Now, the other cave I found was actually right over here. What is that? Oh. Oh! Huh. Well, what do you know? I came through here earlier. I was thinking, well, it's kind of odd that there's still ice laying around. I actually thought it was ice. There was a piece of it right over here somewhere. Was there not? Yeah. I thought that was ice. Oh, it is ice. Take it anyways. Huh. <laughs> well, I definitely called it. Alright, well, let's see how much more I can find around here. Should probably build a temporary shelter, too. The dust has definitely been settling. Like, it used to be so bad you couldn't see in here. Oh. Oh, yes. This is the cave I found. I was talking about came in here. I haven't really explored it too much. Did come in here. There's another... Oh yeah, I did actually. This just happened to take me right over to here where we found uh, the underground base. So it's actually pretty easy for me to refill my, refill my oxygen. Alright, so I'm going to head back and see what how much more of this zeolite I can find. Uh, obviously we're going to be placing a mine around there when we get a chance. Maybe we'll take a quick peek around here. Oh, well, what do you know? Just happened to be more right there. Alright, let me look around, uh, do some exploring, and I'll bring you back if I find anything good. Okay, I am back. Just in time for... Wait for it. Three, two, one. Pulse... Pulsar Quartz. Now, I know for a fact it's going to be in here, most likely. It's not. Really? Where is this? Is this in the bio lab? Maybe. Oh, we're going to be getting the reactor pretty soon. Aha. Oh, that's what we need the zeolite for. Uh, okay, I did look around. I only found five of them. I wasn't really looking around too much. Um, yeah, I guess uh, I need to unlock the tier 2 drill for that. We're going to have to start building up the pressure awfully quick. Oh, I was worried I was going the wrong way and I forgot. Oh yeah, I can go either way on this one. Alright, let's see where we're at. So we're getting... Uh... Oh, actually no, we need the fusion generator at 750 heat so i'm gonna probably launch a couple of rockets for that but we got a seed spraying rocket as well which what is this going to do is this going to be like oxygen possibly we'll find out uh but yeah okay um, hold on what am i thinking about here give me one second so i was on my way to find some cobalt i decided i was gonna launch two of the heat rockets Rockets are actually bringing uranium so we get more power. Uh, but apparently, this zeal light is actually showing up now as the pot actually terraforms because that wasn't there before. Neither was all this grass. I tell, you, I tell you, it's quite interesting to actually see the, the world get greener and uh, have more foliage and, you know, the water, for instance. You know, I was expect I kind of expected water, but I didn't expect that much. Anyway, uh, we're going to be unlocking the seed spreading rocket pretty soon. 
Uh, I came out here for some cobalt, so I just wanted to point out that zeolite, so I'll be back. Okay, I am back. Uh, I have enough to launch two rockets, but I realize that we're going to be unlocking the seed spraying rocket pretty soon, so uh, maybe I'll just launch one for now. So i got one for the uranium asteroids, heat multiplier 1000%. Go ahead and build that. And watch it rain. Good, I got inventory space. Who gets me uranium? Because I actually need it. Wait for it. And So violent. Now how am I supposed to get that? I don't know if I can get up there. There it is. Seed spinning rocket. Well, while that's doing that, let's go have a look at the, the cost of this thing here. Uh, it is an oxygen one. Ooh, I actually might get some of that. So I need the bacteria, the mutagen sample for it, and the true bark. Alright, so we gotta get the gas extractor going then. So we'll probably build that next. Uh, I'll let these I'll let this finish up and then uh, I'll we'll bring you back and we'll get that extractor going. Okay, I'm back. It is raining and I've got some uranium. It wasn't a whole lot, but there is some. There's probably a few more asteroids that landed I didn't find, but I think we I think we have enough for another reactor. Pretty sure. Let's see here. One, two, three. Yeah, we do. So we got the power for it. Now, what, how much power does this thing actually need? I think I have just enough for that. So I need one iridium rod, one more super alloy, and one more zeolite. All right. Uh, we're going to take nine of these. Okay. And where do I put that zeolite? Uh, oh, sounds like it's flooding out there. Anyway, uh, and I need to make one more super alloy. DNA manipulator. What? I'm sorry, what? Oh, what are we waiting for this pulsar quart crystal again? I got a new toy to play with. Uh, oh, yeah, biolab. By lab. I can make this. Ooh. Alright, I got a few things to make. Uh, first of all, let's get that gas extractor going. Uh, what do I need for this thing? Uh, well, if I'm doing this, because I'm going to do this right now, I'm going to get that reactor going. So let me get it to a reactor down. And then I got to make a couple more super alloy if I can. And we'll get some stuff done. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to place this gas extractor down. I think I have enough power for this, and this does go outside. And let's put it here with the rest of the noisemakers. Why not? Alright, now. Alright, so you are extracting at whatever rate you extract that, and we get methane cartridges. Okay, I'm going to need that for. So the next one is we're going to be making uh, the DNA manipulator. Now we. Oh yeah, I gotta make the other stuff too for that. Alright, so let's make a pulsar, qu pulsar quartz. Uh, actually, let's make that reactor first. Let me do that off camera and I'll be right back. And here I am up on the roof again. Let's place another reactor down. Oh yeah, I need the water. Go down here, we'll take those out. And we'll head back over here. Back up on the roof. And... Hmm, I guess we'll place the reactor right here. Why not? I was already the whole planet, and now I realize I want to be hearing that over here. Hmm, you know what, let's move it. Keep all the noise over here. Hmm, where can I sneak this in? Can I actually place it right here? No. Where can I put it? Let's go put it over there. Just because I'm never, never over here. Now I don't have to listen to it. 
All right, now this thing should have something by now. Yes, where's methane? Okay. So now let's see what I need for the other stuff too. The the mutagen and the bacteria sample. The bacteria sample is water and algae. I know that. And the mutagen was methane and a bacteria cartridge. Okay, so I'm gonna make a couple of bacteria samples. I need one sulfur and a methane cartridge for that. And then I gotta make that. So let me get stuff together and uh, we'll build a few more new toys. Okay, I'm just about to make the, uh, the pulsar course, so the last thing we need. And once again, there's a storm happening. I did find some more uranium down there. Like, as you can see, there's a few more chunks, so I grabbed what I could. My inventory's been kind of full, but I'll have to grab that when I can. But here we go. DNA, or pulsar craft crystal. Alright, so that allows us to make the DNA manipulator. Uh, I've crafted those other two things for the... the, the Seed spreading rocket, yes. Alright, so blast, bioplastic nugget, and explosive powder. Now, fortunately, I did find a couple of those, so I don't have to make them uh, bioplastic nuggets, anyways. Uh, I don't know what's noisier, my reactors or that meteor jar. Wait, oh, sorry. Uh, I'm lost in my base. No, I, saw, uh, I looked over there, I thought there was another boulder in my, in my base again. Alright, and explosive powder. Uh, sulfur. Yes, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Sulfur and iridium. Go run back over here. Do, 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 do. And if I don't know I was going to be using this biolab so much, I probably would have put it somewhere else. And explosive powder, and uh, that is it. So let's see what this does. Now, is this is this like an indoor thing or an outdoor thing? It's an indoor thing. Good something inside. Let's actually put it right here in a little workstation. See what this thing is all about. What is going on? Hmm. What do I do? Hmm. Oh. I'm just looking at it right now. I guess I'm gonna have to build, make another one of these. Let me uh, make two of them because we're gonna need one for the rocket too. Okay, let's have a look and see what this thing is all about. I like, made two of them, and we put that one in there and research. Okay, that does nothing. Hmm. <laughs> No clue. I guess I'll figure that out later. Alright, so let's see what I need for this rocket. Just in time for another storm. Ooh, what is this? Oh, magnesium. Take the aluminum, though. Do I actually need the resources? Always nice to find... Always nice to find uh, free stuff outside your front door, huh? Gotta go grab that uranium, too. Alright, now, what did I need for this thing? I needed... Tree bark and two super alloy. Okay, I finally have everything. A little dark, but that's fine. We'll light up the night sky. Go up here, and I'm sure it's gonna actually get pretty light out pretty soon. So, uh, oh, I forgot to learn the seed. Actually, what did I need to put? Oh, it's a biomass rocket. Uh, wrong one. There we go. And, there we go, now we wait a few seconds, wait for the sun to come up and look at my uh, very colorful, very bright base. I'll take a screen, steam screenshot just for that, just for the sake of it. Okay. Oh. That's a nice one. Off we go. Take me with you. That was actually pretty close. So what? Is there going to be asteroids? Yep. Let's see what ast what these things bring. Oh wow, everything went green, or is it just my imagination? Oh, cool. 
That is really cool. And the terraformation index is going up fairly fast now. All right, let's actually go see how the auction is doing now. I was actually expecting like meteors and all sorts of stuff, and I'm going the wrong way, of course. All right. Um, no, oh, yeah, food level, whatever. All right, it's climbing. It's not as fast as I'd like, but it's definitely going up a lot faster. Now, I'm kind of wondering about uh, these rockets. <gasps> oh my god, I didn't even see that. Oh. Okay, this is for the, the trees. I gotcha. I gotcha. So I have a, a, no idea what this is for then. Oh. This is where this comes out. No, I was actually put the stuff in the, to make the tree seeds. Interesting. Of course, that is a long ways away. Part 7.5 parts per million. Uh, I think I'm about like 2% of the way there. So, yeah, I might have to build up, get more of these going. I do have the jet power for it. Uh, this will actually be unlocked soon, so that'll be something to look forward to, and eventually that. Uh, what's next on here? We've got the DNA manipulator, and then the water filter. Uh, one GTI, which I'm not too far away. But I think this is going to be a place, good place to call it. I'm sure it's been a while, but uh, yeah, we made some interesting progress. Got the DNA manipulator going, we launched a... It's a weird flash, I'll say. That's the biomass rocket. We made a hell of a lot more noise in my base where you can't even hear yourself think. And uh, we unlocked it, some new stuff. So anyways, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget, if you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.